I apologize for the wind if it's if it's terrible, but I, I have put this thing on. But let's get on with this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Standard Time. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Rolex Kermit and whether it's still a good investment. Now, I got to try this piece at Ken's Watches. Massive shout out to Ken's Watches, like, like I said in the last video with the Daytona, because they're literally letting me get hands on with these pieces and these are quite exclusive watches. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I just want to give a shout out where it's due. So let's get on with the video. Taking a look at the Kermit. This particular piece is from 2004 and it's a full set and it's sitting at 120,000 Hong Kong dollars that's the price for this particular watch now for a box papers and watch with such good condition I think that's a decent price for the Kermit but that's that's a lot of money that's a lot of money I was really surprised by the Kermit you see them in pictures you see them in videos and YouTube in the hand the piece is so different to what you see on the internet the, the shade of green on that aluminium bezel it's hard to describe. There's, there's so many pictures where it's either underexposed or overexposed or oversaturated or the lighting is bad. Sometimes you see it as a metallic green, light green. Sometimes it just looks dark. It's more of a light green and it's, it's really nice to behold. In the hand, the, the piece was smaller than I expected it to be. Typically in videos, most watches seem to look rather huge and they run huge. And even when you put it on your wrist, and you show it on video, it looks a lot bigger on your wrist than it actually does in real life. I don't know why there's this sort of distortion to the piece on your wrist in video, but that is the case. So in the hand, this, this watch has near perfect dimensions. It's a five digit sub. It's literally the same as any other five digit sub apart from the bezel. But for some weird reason, that bezel gives it so much edge. And the black dial is really sort of accentuated despite it being black. It's a weird thing to describe, but the dial looks quite different to the regular Submariner. I guess the contrast of the green surrounding it kind of gives it a, a slight hue that, that maybe it's kind of psychological, it's most probably psychological, but it frames it a lot better than the black bezel. Now in the hand, this is a fantastic watch. I expected the five digit sub to be a little bit subpar to the six digit one i've tried the six digit one though they're fantastic they're some of the best feeling watches in the hand surprisingly the kermit is not too far behind i actually don't miss the extras that you get in the six digit sub i was expecting to really hate the bracelet and the bracelet's fine but the clasp is crap so there's where your distinction really is between the five and six digit subs the the clasp is stamped it's quite poor it's it's light feeling and it's just not that nice to look at especially when you look at it from the underside there isn't that sophistication you see in the newer oyster bracelets but ignoring that and focusing on the watch such a solid watch despite being 16 17 years old now you can unscrew the crown and that action is so beautiful the winding is so perfect it clicks out perfectly well the gasket on the crown is is still intact and and it's so elastic so all of these things kind of took me by surprise when handling the Rolex Kermit and frankly I love this watch I really really love this watch I know I said this about the Daytona I'm probably gonna say this about a lot more watches to come but if there's one watch that I want to get just one watch it's this one and here's why I think it's still a little bit undervalued. Now, before before you get pissed off, hear me out. The price of around 14,000 US dollars, 15,000 US dollars, that's stupidly ridiculous for a 17 year old watch. But if you've seen how much vintage Rolexes go for, it's an entirely different realm. And you feel completely different about it once you see that. Now, right now the watch market is very inflated and it's, it's a bit ridiculous, but still, the Kermit could be an investment. Now, you never buy a watch for investment purposes, but you still care when you spend 15 grand on anything. 
it literally has to at least hold value. So let's talk about the investment aspect of the Kermit and compare it to the, the latest release and whether it will go up, whether it will go down and how the newest Submariner, the, the green ceramic Submariner, um, the Sermit or the Starbucks will affect this. So the Rolex Kermit is basically a Rolex Submariner date which celebrates the 50th anniversary of the Submariner. I think 2003 is when it was first released and it's essentially just a Submariner date with, with an aluminium green bezel. Now in 2020 we've just got the updated version, the green ceramic bezel Rolex Submariner. Now this is a this is a massive improvement over the previous watch. Of course, there's there's a lot of things different. The previous one was a five-digit Submariner. Now we're on the six-digit. That means ceramic bezel. That means a, a different clasp. That means solid end links. It, it means a lot of things. So the bracelet's better. The movements different. It's almost an entirely different watch apart from the aesthetic cues. So back to the Kermit. Is the Kermit still an investment now? In the last few years, the Kermit has gone up significantly. So back in 2016 or 2017, they, they were not really that desired. They were just picking up right then. And they could have been had for under $8,000, pounds, euros, around. I've heard some people having bought it for around £6,000, which if you look at now, it is a steal. So right now, the Kermit is sitting right around the 12, 13, 14, 15 grand mark, depending on condition. So without the box, without the papers, I think you might be able to snag one at about 12 and a half thousand pounds, maybe 13 and a half thousand dollars, 13,000 euros. I'm not too sure about the exact conversions, but that's not important right now. Right now, the 2020 Sermit or Starbucks, as it's dubbed, is sitting closer to the 20 grand mark. I've seen people listed for 22 and they've not sold and it's come down now the current listings are about 16 to 19 thousand US dollars I think 16 is a bit low it's, it's a bit more than that so weirdly the Kermit which will not be made ever again which has been made for a limited run is sitting lower than the new Sermit which has literally just released and we're about to see a couple years more of this watch so in 2020, Rolex could not produce that many watches because of the pandemic. Nobody could produce that many watches because of the pandemic. That doesn't really mean something in the long run. So literally everyone is scooping up these new Starbucks Sermits at stupid, stupid prices because it's, it's almost impossible to get one at retail. If you've gotten one at retail, why are you watching this video? You're in, you're in a different league. <laughs> For those that are looking to buy one of these watches. Is the Kermit still an investment? I do think so. I think the Kermit is definitely worth more than the Sermit or the Starbucks. So literally the new Submariner will come down in price. They're already not selling that well at the, the 18 grand mark. They are due to come down as more pieces get released. Hopefully the production is better in 2021. Uh, well, at least the, the arrangements by Rolex would be better to produce more. So you're gonna see more pieces come out of the Rolex factory with that green ceramic bezel. There's gonna be more watches. The prices will drop. They will quickly drop below the Kermit. Let's say 14,000, 15,000 US dollars. Is it still an investment? Yeah, I think so. I think if you buy the right one, obviously unpolished and preferably full set, full set's really where the prices go up. But even if you can't get one of those and you can just about get watch only and it's in decent condition, it will cost less, maybe 13,000. 13, Do I think it's an investment? Well, I think you should never invest in watches, but everyone says that anyway. But you're not here to hear that from me. You're here to hear whether it's actually gonna appreciate or not. And I think it will appreciate. Now I know watches are, are a hobby. It, it's, not, it's not like the stock market. You're not here to make money. But at the end of the day, if you're spending so much on a watch, why would you be silly with that money? You, nobody is silly with that kind of money. So you do have to consider this aspect when you're looking to get a Submariner or literally looking to get any stainless steel sports model from Rolex, that's not at the AD. So we're not talking about Datejust because that's the only thing you can find at ADs these days. Maybe an Explorer. The Kermit, I believe, will still appreciate not that much right now, 
because the market's kind of soft for the Kermit since the new one's out, everyone wants a new one. And people who wanted the Kermit, I think they already bought the Kermit. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of people willing to sell the Kermit because their eyes are on the new one. I still think the Kermit is the smart buy. If you can buy it and hold it for some time, you'll be fine. You'll definitely be fine. I can see the Kermit go up to the mid-20s in the next three to four years. Don't quote me on that. It's just an estimate. It's just what I think. And it doesn't have to be that accurate. You were here to hear what I thought about it. And this is what I think. So, should you get the Kermit? Absolutely. But, might you lose money on it? Perhaps in the short term, yes. But I think it will still appreciate. Anyways guys, uh, let me know what you think about this topic. Let me know what you think about the Kermit. Let me know what you think about the new Submariner. And how do you think the market will be? These are just my opinions and there's no certainty to any of this. But I want to hear what you think likewise. Put it down in the comments below. Do check us out at Standard Time Insta to have a daily dose of watch content. Thanks for watching. See you guys next video. Cheers.